Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing well. So I am back to do another reading. This one is going to be for Divine Soulmates, Twin Flames, Twin Souls, um, Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines, where there is a karmic situation involved. I will be doing the reading as if it is the masculine who is involved in a karmic relationship. Okay, so that would be a third party relationship. Um, don't get stuck on the word karmic. I've explained that before, so I'm not going to explain it again. Um, yeah, and it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation anyway. Just take the messages as they resonate, and of course the karmic situation could be anything. It does not have to be a person or a partner, as I'm saying. It could be another person. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It could be work. It could be an addiction. It could be just about anything, all right? And of course, it could be the feminine who is involved in a karmic situation. So again, take the message as it resonates, and if it does... If you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And I will also be including the link to a dear friend's um, Instagram page, A Scorpio's Journey. She posts some channeled messages, downloads that she gets, and occasionally also some, some readings, some card readings. And I just think her, her messages are absolutely amazing. So, let's get into the reading. Let's start by looking at the masculine's energy. What is going on with the divine masculine? Who is in a karmic relationship or situation? All right, and we have the first chakra, Archangel Michael. Okay, so this is the root chakra, okay? So it's all about safety. It's all about the comfort zone. It's all about feeling secure and grounded. Let's get a few more and see what this is about. I actually feel like there has been a lot that has been going on, um, <clears throat> especially in the time frame between the Lion's Gate building, building, building up to the full moon in Aquarius. And I actually feel like that the climax was the full moon in Aquarius, but that that climax is still, it's like still there. It's still playing out. So we'll see what this is about. All right, we have action, nostalgia, and purge. Okay. So, I actually feel like right now what's happening is that they are being given some assistance from the divine, possibly even Archangel Michael for some of them or for a lot of them, when it comes to feeling grounded, when it comes to feeling secure in their actions and in the steps <clears throat> that they are about to take and in what they are wanting to move towards, all right? This is all about also feeling that power and feeling that courage, which, yes, is the solar plexus, but if the root chakra is not balanced, well, then it's hard to have that as well. And because that is pretty much the, um, <clears throat> I feel what they are moving towards, it's the root chakra that really needs to be balanced at the moment, and so I feel like, yeah, it's a little bit shaky. And the reason why it's shaky is because a lot is going on for them. And it's almost like they feel like they're losing the grounding beneath their feet. This is all about moving out of the comfort zone, as I said, and taking, taking action. And so it's that action that is causing them to feel this. And so they're getting some divine support in order to help them with that. Um, this is a very, very significant um, time period right now. What is driving this action is that there is nostalgia. So maybe for um, some of you, you are in separation or possibly there has been some kind of a fallout between the two of you. If you had been in contact, maybe there was an argument, maybe there was or some major event that has happened. And it could be just about anything like it could be anything from somebody moving locations to making this union um, less likely um, or that it seems like it's less likely or maybe you are dating somebody else, or maybe there has been an argument. It could be a number of things. And this has caused a lot of emotions to come up. There's nostalgia for their divine feminine, and all of this is driving them towards taking some kind of an action, <clears throat> especially relating to the karmic situation, because obviously that is one of the challenges here, or the major challenge for this um, part of the collective. 
And that all comes from <clears throat> being able to feel secure in their decisions and in their actions. And so I feel like that is what is, um, that's just the, what's at the forefront for the masculines at this time. So let's get into the tarot and see more specifically what is going on <clears throat> with them when it comes to the karmic situation. So we have the star, <clears throat> the tower in reverse, and the four of pentacles in reverse. All right, so this is all about them, again, feeling more, feeling more secure about this tower. This is like having hope that the tower coming down is not going to be as bad as they thought it was, because that's the whole thing. When they're... When they're thinking about <clears throat> leaving a situation that gave them some kind of comfort, security, or maybe it was even just sugarcoating their belief systems or just kind of um, helping them to avoid real commitment or whatever, okay, whatever the situation is for each of them. Because for some of them, I know they are in, you know, high level commitments and then others of them, you know, they might just be having a fling. Um, they felt like destroying that or coming out of that would be like this huge dramatic event and that, you know, just a whole world would get destroyed. For some of them, it could even, if it's just like, um, a, a more superficial relationship, then it would still be scary because, well, then what does that mean about my connection with my divine feminine? And that has been scary. So it's been a big thing in their minds. And I feel like it has been blown out of proportion. And this is going to be more true for those of them who are in a higher level of commitment, especially if they have children. And this is them having hope that, hey, maybe that tower is not so bad after all. And maybe I can release it. So this is them releasing some stubbornness, releasing what they've been holding on to, to so tightly, which isn't necessarily the, the karmic relationship. It's the ideas and beliefs associated with that. It's <clears throat> staying in this connection, staying in this relationship. What beliefs cause me to stay in this relationship. That is what needs to be released. The beliefs, which could be cultural for some of them. It could be um, a status thing for others. It could just be, um, what does it mean about themselves and, and the guilt that they would feel. So they're stepping into the state of having hope that, hey, it's not actually going to be the end of the world. I can do this, I can release this. And it's like something is beginning to get unblocked from their mind when they were like locked into that particular belief. So I probably will clarify some of these, but let's see, <clears throat> let's see what else we get here. See if we can get more specific. I mean, it is a general reading, which is meant to resonate for um, a large number of you. So it can't be that specific. We'll see. All right, Five of Swords in reverse. It was actually kind of sideways, but in that direction, I always turn it this way. The Six of Wands in reverse, as well as the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. This relationship here, I feel, and I do feel that for, for many of them, again, it does feel like like it was a higher level. It doesn't have to be, but I do kind of get that also with the Ten of Pentacles being right under the Four of Pentacles. Um, I feel like there has been some, possible some manipulation in this connection. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it is um, on purpose, deliberate, with bad intentions. I feel like in, in every connection, you know, there's 
bound to be just a little bit of manipulation even if it is subconscious on a subconscious level and i feel like this is something that is beginning to come out into the open like there is some kind of a realization of that and it could go either way it could be from the karmic partner you know just trying to hold on to to this connection in whatever way they can and it is most definitely also the masculine deceiving their own feelings deceiving what they want their own truth I feel like with this being in reverse now, it's like, yeah, no, no more of that. This is especially going to be true for, for those of them who have been people pleasers. Um, they're seeing that this is not working out. Lying, deception, even if that's just against your own self, that does not lead to success. That does not make them feel successful. It does not give them happiness, it does not give them um, any sort of victory whatsoever. And for a lot of them, I feel like this is also destroying, um, feeling like what I was saying before about the tower, seeing that it's not that dramatic, like, like that it's not as bad as they thought it would be. For a lot of them, this has to do with their ego. And like I said, social status. It's kind of like now not even caring what people think. For those of them who did care what people think, for those of them who have been people pleasers, not caring to be recognized. Like this connection is just, it's, it's not working out, all right? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's not, even on a, I feel like even on a practical level, like it's not even just on an emotional level. Even on a practical level, it's not. So we will clarify. Let's see the tower. <clears throat> Get some more information on that. All right, we have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, so this is an energy of actually um, detaching emotionally, moving away from this connection emotionally, choosing the harder path, and also giving up on any effort. Um, not even, you know, it's not even just the... Yeah, giving up on the effort that is that they had been putting into this. But this is also them being able to walk away without having to put in so much effort in order to walk away. Like I said, because before it felt like this huge, dramatic, um, just overblown um, scene in their minds of what their world would be like and of what this would be like. And it actually comes in as them being able to see this more realistically. And that it does not even require that much effort. There doesn't need to be as much communication about it as they thought. Because I feel like for a lot of them, you know, there was just, they were just talking, 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 talking about it. Let's discuss this. Let's discuss this. Let me do, try this. Let me try that. And it's like, now it's like, yeah, you know what? We don't even need all of that. It's just, it's just not, a, not as bad as I thought it would be. Let's clarify the Five of Swords. The Emperor in Reverse and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, so this is clearly the deception that they had against their own self, especially when it comes to what it is that they want. And I also feel like for some of them, um, this is going to be true for those of them who may have um, may have had like on and off relationships with, with this person that they're with or the situation, right? Being a little bit back and forth, like trying to bring it back together, trying to find a way for it to work and then... 
um, having distance again or moving in the other direction and then going back to it. So especially for those in that kind of a situation, there was, like I said, there was manipulation, all right? There was somebody here trying to have control over the situation, but in a way where it was not effective. And in a way where it is now, it is now being seen. It is now being seen. All right, the Nine of Swords in reverse. Again, this, oh, I feel like for, for a lot of them, part of their issue, okay, like we're just tapping into a specific aspect here. Part of their issue was, again, that feeling of success and that feeling of failure, having failed at something, or that feeling of having to put an, my ego to the side, which they're already doing, all right? Just number one, by by allowing themselves to release these beliefs that they were holding on to so stubbornly, all right, putting that ego aside, not caring about what other people think of them or how they will look, even to their own selves, like what beliefs they will have about their own self, this is not as dramatic anymore. Nine of Swords in reverse, it's not as stressful anymore. So let me get one more. And this is why they're beginning to feel safer in taking action. All right, and we have the Three of Cups. So again, beginning to feel more, more high vibe, more high vibe. And I feel wanting, wanting to really be able to enjoy whatever connection they, they have. And I feel like they don't enjoy this, right? Because we have the Three of Cups, which is clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, which is in reverse though. So it's like this, a reconciliation with this person, because I do feel like for a lot of them, they're like at this point right now where it's like things are not working out, all right? Things are not going well. They feel like there is no, there cannot be a reconciliation. They cannot enjoy this um, connection for the long term. So, um, I do, I actually do want to get more specific things of what's going on with them, but because I, I feel like we just pretty much got into their headspace um, rather than what is going on actually, like physically. Um, but we'll come back to that. But let's just take a look at what is going on in their energy towards their feminine. the lovers, the magician, and the five of cups. Wow. Okay. So they're feeling like, first of all, all right, the lovers pretty much does it all. Um, feeling the depth of this connection, feeling the strength of this connection. I feel like they're feeling you and we've been getting that in the past couple of readings, just really feeling your energy very, very strongly. Um, they're feeling this drive they're, They want to take some kind of an action here with the magician. And I feel like they are, I feel like they're manifesting you in a way, um, but it's in a way where it's happening in a way where it's not very visible because they're still, they're still here. Okay. But they're having that drive to manifest this. However, at the moment, they're feeling very sad. All right. Here's that nostalgia, the five of cups. Um, possibly also feeling a lot of regret and feeling very sad for maybe something that they actually created. So, like I said, you know, maybe there has been some kind of a, some kind of a fallout for some of you, or that something has happened which has led to this purging. Um, because I do feel like there has been purging of emotions or of pain associated with you. And so this is them feeling um, guilty 
for whatever it is that they have created in the past concerning your connection. And this is giving them that drive. This is giving them drive to, to take that action, as I said before. So let's see what else. Okay, so every single card upright and we have the Ace of Cups, the Empress and the Nine of Cups. What is going on here? Like, look at that difference. That's crazy. They're feeling, they're feeling you. Like, I, I just can't, I can't express this in any other way. They're feeling you like they've never felt you before. Um, very, very deeply, very, very strongly. I feel like they're even feeling the love that um, that shines from you towards them, even if you are annoyed with them, even if you are upset with them, even, you know, whatever kind of energy you are in, if you're watching this video and if you are in this group, then you are still holding that love for your masculine and it is vibrating very deeply. Um, which is telling me that maybe you have released a lot of resentment um, possibly, you know, forgiven them, forgiven yourself for a lot of things in the past because they're feeling you like, <laughs> like down to the depths of their soul. It's, that's just what I'm getting here. Um, and this is making them crave you even more. And this is giving them a lot of drive, um, and it's it's all in the five D, right? It, this is energetic, and for some of you, obviously, you know, you might be in contact, so they might be picking up on this from your vibes that they actually um, get from you physically. But either way, it is it is giving them a push. It is giving them this drive, and it is making them feel safe. When I say safe, I mean safe to allow a tower to fall. That it's not going to be so bad. Let's see, let's clarify. What do I want to clarify here? I want to clarify that Five of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so they're feeling a lot of regret that you have been what they have wanted. And not only that, that you have actually stood your ground. You have been there. You have been um, standing in your power and you have taken care of them. And you have always had your opinions in a way where you knew what you were talking about. A lot of the time, maybe not always, but a lot of the time. This is what they are remembering, though. They're remembering you, you being assertive, you having passion, you following your, your own intuition. Whereas they have been like this king of swords in reverse, not taking action, not being determined, not, not being as... as confident as you, many times being irrational. That is what they are regretting. That is what they are feel, feeling guilty about. And they also miss that about you if you are, if you are in the separation right now. Let's clarify, let's just clarify this bottom row. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, 
the magician showing up again, and the two of swords in reverse. They know that something has to change here within you. And they might even feel like, I feel like they're feeling like something has changed within you. And they're not sure if you, if you still want this. And I do feel like that has also been an ongoing theme. Um, and this again, I mean, This is making them want to change the fact that they had not been taking action and the fact that they had not been making a decision. They want to come out of this stalemate. And for those of you who may have had some kind of a fallout, like more recently, this is them wanting to, wanting to fix things, wanting things to, wanting the both of you to come out of this stagnancy, whatever stagnancy your connection might be in, regardless of what's going on with the, um, with the karmic situation at the moment. I kind of feel like they're not, they're not making a change at the moment. This is just what they are wanting. All right. And like I said, I feel like they are manifesting this, but in a way that cannot be seen right now. So there, there's something that is happening that is not meant to be um, shown to us where it is manifesting the two of you coming out of some kind of a disagreement or some kind of a fallout or some kind of a distance or some kind of a something or other. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a couple of messages for the feminines and then we'll take a look, a quick look at what is coming up. We have walking away. Yeah, I do feel like for, I feel like this might be a very specific group that I'm tapping into today. I do feel like there has been something that has happened between the two of you and that was recent and it even could just be energetically, all right? I feel like you are walking away or that you have done something to, to make it look like you're walking away, um, not on purpose, but that's just how it's coming across or you, you are kind of just moving away from this in, in some way. All right, we have cycles, conclusion, and shadow work. You are walking away from repeating the same cycle over and over again. And that's because you've done a lot of your work, your inner work, and you are not about to repeat a cycle. You want a conclusion, and that is why you, you are walking away. So if this is what you've, you're feeling, then take this also as encouragement, um, because I feel like this is actually the guidance as well. All right, walk away from repeating the same cycle over and over again. If you feel like something is beginning to be like deja vu, like you've gone through this before, which did not end well, and it just caused you pain, walk away from that. So that way you can break that cycle. All right, let's see. Any other messages for the feminines? All right, we have temperance, we have the page of wands, the hanged man, and the two of swords. Trying to put them where you can see them. All right, so the message here. Oh, okay. This is all about finding your inner balance, all right? Finding your sense of peace 
and focusing focusing on other things focusing on whatever it is that is in your life right now that you are feeling called to focus on that does not mean to suppress your emotions for the masculine all right but this is all about really coming into a state of peace while at the same time being able to focus on something on possibly something new that you are starting because that is going to be something that is that is important to you something something that is coming into your life or something that has already been there and that maybe you have been postponing. And again, I'm getting with this hanged man and two of swords. This is important so that you don't get stuck in that, in that cycle again of things being stagnant. Like if you repeat a cycle, it's, I mean, every time you repeat a cycle, it's okay. Um, each time you learn something from it, it moves you up to the next level. But I'm, I'm feeling very strongly now that for a specific group of you, like you, it's like your guides or your spirit teams, they're really trying to help you to not repeat that cycle again at this point in time, at least. Okay. Take that message. If it resonates, if you feel like you do need to repeat something, um, like there's just one more thing you want to see, or you want to test out, or you're just really feeling called to, you know, then all, you know, trust your own intuition. I always say that if we do end up repeating a cycle, that it's okay. And that's nothing that we should beat ourselves up about. In this particular case, there is a specific group of you where you're feeling that push. You know that it's coming from, from your higher self and really encouraging you to not stay stagnant in a cycle that seems to you know go around and around because that's what's going to break it if you if you break away from it and and for you you know not doing it as a means to an end it's clearly for you and it will bring you a sense of peace So yeah, I'm going to leave. I feel like there's more that wants to come through for the feminines, but I, and I know I said this last week and I didn't do it, but I do want to make a separate video just for the feminines, just messages that want to come through for you. Um, so let's see what is coming up here. Let's see if we can get some more specific, specific actions from the masculine concerning the karmic situation here. All right, so we have the moon in reverse, the seven of cups in reverse, and the sun in reverse. There's a lot of things that were confusing to them, a lot of things that were being hidden from them. Things that were not being illuminated that are now coming up to the surface. So again, I know it's not all that specific because it's going to be different for each of you. I have a feeling it has to do with this manipulation, with this deceit. I feel like it's a continuation of what we've seen. And actually I was getting, I think we got a similar message in last week's reading, which was, um, I remember titling it um, that the DM cannot unsee what they have already seen now. So I feel like it's, I don't remember it that specifically, but I feel like it's a general kind of a feel. And that's how I know that what I'm getting is actually what's happening, at least for a particular group of you, because the messages are consistent. And yeah, these things take time, you know? Um, it's not like you can just have a, like a crazy change from one week to the next. Well, sometimes you can. But for right now, what I'm seeing is that they are being able to see past some kind of an illusion. All right, with the seven of cups being in reverse, the moon being in reverse, even the sun being in reverse. It's like they're, this is what they are seeing past, the illusion of what was being hidden, what the sun was not shining on. Something that was hidden has come up. And for each of them, it's going to be something different. So there's no point in even really um, clarifying that. 
what it's going to be. Um, again, it has to do with whatever was deceptive in this connection. Let's see for the feminines, their energy towards their feminines. All right, we have judgment, seven of cups in reverse again, the devil and the four of wands. All right, there's a lot of clarity that is coming in here. Okay, this is the second time we're getting clarity. So it's, it's being consistent everywhere actually, um, repeating itself. So as there is clarity within the karmic situation, there is also clarity when it comes to um, their connection with the with the divine feminine, which they already have, but I feel like this is going to be clarity concerning whatever it is that caused some tension between the two of you, whatever it was. Um, it's more than tension, okay, with the devil being here. I feel like whatever it is that happened between the two of you, um, either when you last spoke or just some kind of an argument, some kind of ego that got in the way, fears, anything. That is what they're having clarity on right now, on what it is that was toxic within their own self or even within the feminine. And that's still okay. They're still feeling this, this love and this connection for you. They're still wanting to manifest this. Um, like I said, really feeling you like no other and you are their wish fulfillment still like that's just never going to change. So they're having clarity on whatever it was that was toxic though and understanding on a deep, deep level that you are still their person here. All right. With the four of wands, you are still their, their foundation, their stability. Plain and simple, you are still their person. So that's a major realization. And I feel like that also is in line with them um, putting their ego to the side and releasing like stubborn beliefs that they've been holding on to. And so I do feel like this could even be some kind of some kind of a reconciliation or some kind of a contact coming back into play because they have this this um this clarity. So final message to close this reading out. We have deep knowing. And yet, you know, I feel like this is, this goes for the both of you. You both have a deep knowing of this connection. They know. No matter what it is that has happened between the two of you, no matter what it is that has caused you to walk away, they know and you know. Four of Wands. All right, let's get one more. All right, and we have the Full Moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. Yeah, and in this particular case, I do feel like it is a personal issue, for the masculines at least, concerning whatever it was that was, that whatever belief that was that was making them feel like allowing the tower to fall would be so dramatic and so difficult. That is reaching resolution. That was a personal issue for them. And this could also be true, obviously, for the, for the feminines as well. And I do feel like this is also the personal issue between the two of you, whatever it was, if you were in contact, that caused you to have a break. So I'm going to leave it at that. I hope that this resonated for some of you. Definitely let me know if it did. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.